everyone welcome to physics video today we have a uh, question three from 2019 from aqa papers a scientist investigated how the maximum muscle power of humans varies with age and gender the scientists ask a volunteer to stand on platform and to jump as high as they could figure four shows a volunteer taking part in the experiment and the electronic timer measured to the time that the volunteer was in the air the muscle power in watts per kilogram watt which is simpled by p divided by the kilogram which is mass is calculated using the following equation muscle power here and equals a 9.8 this one which is the acceleration due to gravity the jump height is simpled by h and the time simpled by the t so the formula is the power per mass, which is the muscle power, 9.8, which is the G, and times the jump height, which is H, divided by the time taken, which is T. One volunteer has a muscle power, 41 watt per kilogram, and the time taken to be in the air, which is 0.12 seconds. Calculate his jump height. So 41 equals 9.8 times H, divided by the time. T1 equals 9.8 times H divided by 0.12 seconds. It equals 31 times 0.12 divided by 9.8. Jump high is 0.50 meter. Three marks. The first one, second, and the correct answer. This is the third mark. To write down the equation which links the kinetic energy, mass, and speed. The formula kinetic energy equals half s times the velocity or the speed square, speed squared, which is half mv squared. P3, one volunteer had a kinetic energy to 70 joule and a speed which is three meter per second at the moment he left to the ground calculate his mass kinetic energy equals half mv square kinetic energy to 70 equals the mass is unknown three square 70 equals half m times nine divide both sides by nine so 270 divided by 9 it gives us 30 30 equals half m to get the value of the mass so times 2 and times 2 for both sides so it gives us finally the mass is 60 kilogram 2 times 30 three marks one for the correct substitution as shown the calculation and the final answer 60 kilogram figure 5 shows the scientist's results on the y-axis we have the muscle power in watt per kilogram and the y-axis we have the x-axis we have age of volunteer in years from 0 to 80 the solid line for male dotted line for female question three four uh, compare the muscle power of males with the muscle power of females use data from figure five in your answer from ages nine approximately nine here and above from nine to uh, 70 during this age male males have greater muscle power than female for most of their lives for the first answer males have greater muscle power than females for most of their lives. But below nine years old, we notice that, that the males have a lower muscle power than females. So males have lower muscle power than females below 10 or 9 years old there's a kind of similar pattern look for the pattern of the female and uh, the pattern of 
uh, males as well, they have the same pattern. It goes up and then it goes down like this. So you, you can say there is a similar pattern for males and females as age increases. There is a similar pattern for males and females we try to figure out the peak point uh, the maximum uh, muscle power for both male and females we note that at the age of 20 for females we know that uh, muscle power approximately 37 so 37 watt per kilogram at the age of 25 for males here 25 the maximum power which is 47 watt per kilogram so males have a peak muscle at 25 years old whereas uh, whereas uh, females have a peak muscle power at 20 21 years old males have a peak muscle power at 25 years old whereas females have peak muscle power at 20 to 21 years old two more points left um, the rate of increase of muscle power is greater for males this one along the solid line here and compared to the the dotted line for females so the rate of increase in the, of the muscle power is greater for male than females this one between the age of five here approximately to the age of 20 to 25 kind of this to that age 25 and for after age of 25 for males and female i know that the male has a great uh, the rate of decrease of muscle power is greater for male than females these are the two points so uh, did we have done a uh, question three four for question 3 5 the muscle power of each volunteer was measured five times the highest muscle power reading was recorded instead of calculating an average suggest one reason why the reason is if the you reach maximum height it means that you have a maximum muscle power so it's a, a, a good indicator so maximum height reached is a good or a better indicator of maximum muscle power. We have one, more than one point to discuss. The, the volunteer may not use the maximum effort in the first try, maybe the second or third. Performance may improve the, with practice. Performance may get worse with tiredness. So we get that one mark. Um, if you love the video, please share and like and subscribe.